Hi, I'm Rainy with Finance Strategists. In this lesson, we're going to cover Green taxes are taxes imposed on activities that pollute or cause harm to the environment. Green taxes are also known as environmental taxes or eco taxes. Examples of green taxes are carbon taxes, which tax industries and organizations that emit carbon dioxide beyond a prescribed limit. Gas guzzler tax, which taxes new cars in the United States that do not meet government prescribed fuel efficiency standards. Green taxes are examples of Pigovian taxes, or taxes that penalize individuals and private enterprises for making products or using production methods that have an adverse effect on society. While taxation of industries and companies that emit polluting gases is the most well-known application of green taxes, they can be used to deter other kinds of pollution as well. For example, France has a noise tax levied on commercial and non-commercial airport operators, taking off from its nine busiest airports. The most common green taxes across the world are those that are applied to air pollution, waste management, energy creation, mining, and noise pollution. The benefits of green taxes are they promote sustainable practices among individuals and corporations by punishing behavior that is harmful to the environment without terminating their businesses. They have become an important and growing source of revenue for governments, especially in developing countries worldwide. For example, a 2019 OECD report stated that green taxes accounted for 8% and 8.6% of overall tax revenue in Denmark and the Netherlands in 2018. In India, they accounted for 18% of total tax revenue. Green taxes can mean more money for citizens and environmental initiatives. For example, Canada passed the Greenhouse Gas Polluting Pricing Act, which gives up to 90% of funds raised through carbon taxes back to Canadian households. Taxes can also spur investment into alternate technologies. Carbon taxes have encouraged investment and development of alternate energy technologies. The drawbacks of green taxes are research on climate change is still disputed. Critics say sufficient evidence does not exist to connect green taxes with positive outcomes. There is no set standard or definition of a green tax between different jurisdictions. These differences allow countries to arbitrarily add a green tax, even when it arguably should not have been added. Green taxes can increase the cost of production in certain industries, which translates to higher overall product costs. Such price rises disproportionately harm poor consumers. Let's hear from you. How has the automobile industry changed due to green taxes? Leave your answer in the comments below. For more information, visit www.financestrategist.com. Finance Strategists, strategies for your future.